hi my grade 11 student so in this video as i said on the previous video that i was doing a ledger account i said that on the same question paper that we were doing we are going to draft a fixed assets note so that you will also learn how to prepare fixed assets notes when we have disposal at current value okay let's check uh, on our um, transactions so the information that we have they said on 1 march 2015 the following balance appeared among others in the books of george traders okay so basically this is the opening balances so they give us a vehicle amount and accumulated depreciation as well so our year is ending 29 february 2016 okay which means that our opening balance we are going to start with it okay then opening balance is 759,000, and then accumulated depreciation is 297,750. Okay, then the carrying value is going to be 461,250. Remember, accumulated depreciation and cost price, we just copy it from the balance. And then after that, we subtract these two, then it gives us a carrying value or carrying amount. Okay, now we can proceed. On 31 August 2015, a vehicle with original cost price of 180 was sold on credit for 100,000 and accumulated depreciation on this vehicle on one much amounted to 60,000. Okay. So they said that they sold a vehicle. If they sold vehicle, guys, we need to recognize disposal at carrying value. Okay, let's start by number three. On 30, on 1 August 2015, a new vehicle was purchased on credit by 200,000. It's additional. Additional, we just recorded as it is, as 200,000. Okay, and it must be positive. Only depreciation. And the disposal must be on the brackets to indicate that they are going out. Okay, now let's go to number four so that we can go to number two. Because we can't go to number two if we don't know the depreciation method that we need to use. A depreciation is provided at 20% per annum on diminishing balance method. Okay, they said that we have to use diminishing balance method. When we say diminishing, guys, simply means that when you calculate the percentage of depreciation you must first take cost minus accumulated depreciation then you will get current value and you proceed with your calculation okay then uh, we have a cost price uh, of 180 180000 and then our accumulated okay guys there is no need for me to repeat this because this calculation we did it on the previous one but i'm going to explain okay this is the first calculation that we did we take 180,000, which is cost price minus accumulated depreciation why we needed to calculate a depreciation from uh, 1 march 2015 until 31 august because accumulated depreciation of 60,000 that they give us it's not for 31 August, the day that we sold what a vehicle. We needed to push it until that day of 31 August because they only calculated up to March, which means that we have to proceed and say March, April, May, June, July, August. Okay, another uh, six months. We need to calculate this six months as well. Then we said 180 minus 60,000, multiply by 20 percent, then multiply by six over 12. Why? we want the depreciation of that six months then it give us twelve thousand okay now because we have a twelve thousand we have a total depreciation now we're gonna add twelve thousand plus sixty thousand and it give us seventy two thousand which means that now we can calculate disposal at current value by saying one eighty thousand minus seventy two thousand 72,000 guys is 60,000 plus 12,000. Okay, then it's gonna give you uh, 108. It's gonna give you 108,000. Okay, 
very simple now we can go back to depreciation depreciation the first one we already calculated 12,000 12,000 we don't take 60,000 because 60,000 is old one guys it's for previous year we take 12,000 plus 60,000 is already calculated here. So no need to calculate it again. Okay. 12,000 plus a new one. Okay. Remember, they said on 31 December 2015, a new vehicle was purchased. Which means that from new vehicle that was purchased, we need to do what? We need to say 20,000 multiplied by 20 over 100. Why? no minus accumulated because there was no accumulated when because it was still new so what we need to do is to just say 200,000 because we are going to say minus zero and it's going to give us the same amount and we count months from the from one december until uh, february it's going to give us december january february three months then we multiply by three over 12 and we get 10,000 and we get 10,000 then after that we have to focus on remaining what remaining uh, vehicles that we have so from remaining guys you must first subtract the one that has been sold but from both cost price and what and accumulated depreciation we take the old one this amount minus 180 cost price of this and accumulated depreciation and we minus what the accumulated depreciation of old one then now we can calculate what a current value okay after calculating current value then we can say my blood by 20 percent and no need to count months because it's going to be 12 over 12 and we get depreciation of 68,250 68,250 and after that uh, it's going to give you amount of 90,000 amount of 90,000 so if you calculate this movement you are going to get 2,000 how do we calculate movements 200,000 minus 90 minus 108 then it's gonna give you 2,000 okay now for you to calculate a carrying value at the end it can be simple if you have this two amount because you just say this current value plus movement is gonna give you current value at the end, which is uh, four sixty three two fifty. Okay, you just take these two and you add them together. They're gonna give you this one. Now the cost is very simple. How do we calculate it? Cost at the beginning. Okay, let me show you here. 759,000 plus additional of 200,000 minus cost of vehicle that has been sold of 18. Okay, then if you do this calculation, it's going to give you 779,000. Okay, then accumulated depreciation, guys. I know that you can get it as a balancing figure, but we need to verify. Okay. Accumulated depreciation, you said accumulated at the beginning, which is uh, 297,750. And then after that, you said plus 90,000 of depreciation. And after that, you subtract what? The one for disposal minus seventy two thousand. Why are we subtracting this seventy two thousand? Because we no longer have this vehicle, so no need to stay with accumulated depreciation of it. We need to subtract it. Then it's gonna give you three fifteen seven fifty. So if you take this one minus this one, it's gonna give you this one. Just like that. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like. And subscribe let uh, let us uh, this channel grow guys so that we can keep uploading more and more videos the more you see videos guys um, popping every day is because you guys are supporting this channel you guys are subscribing this channel is keep growing so 
if you haven't subscribed guys please please make sure that you subscribe it also help us a lot guys to show that you we also have a love from you guys so that we can keep doing what doing more and more videos i'm gonna see you on the next one please don't forget to go and check other videos under playlist of grade 11 so that you can learn other question papers